Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, hopefully you saw my video where I showed you how to put together the adorable truck and this one I did out of black foil using the Ride With Me bundle. Remember, when you bundle, you save 10%. So I showed you how to cut the truck in a previous video and I will link that. It comes with the dies to both cut out the trees, the Christmas tree, and the pumpkins, which you can stamp those. So I wanted to make sure you saw that. But today, we are just going to be using the stamp set. Okay, so, so versatile. Use it together. I'm using myself. Who doesn't say girls don't love trucks? We know girls love trucks. And I thought this pink truck was so stinking cute. Use the sentiment, I'm always here to pick you up. As always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find all the measurements for this card. So, uh, no worries about writing anything down. I will tell you today, we're going to make a more of a male version of this card. Because this is my female version. So, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Right off the bat, we're going to bring in our base, which is four and a quarter by 11, and I'm going to score that, all right? And let me tell you, the easiest way I think to score is I'm going at two and three quarters. Just flip it around, two and three quarters. So you're going to do it on both sides, two and three quarters, all righty? So we've got that done for now, so we can fold those in and burnish those down really well. Our bone folder. They should match there in the middle. All right. Now we're going to be using Knight of Navy, and this is our uh, Neutrals Designer Series paper. So I've got two pieces of the new Seaside Spray, and I'm going to grab my Tombow for this bottom one, and I couldn't decide which side to use, but because I'm using the Seaside Spray, I'm going to go ahead with the plaid, and I'm going to stick that down on a piece of my Seaside Spray. Like I said, just go to the bottom and click on the direct link to my blog post, and it'll give you all the measurements for all these layers, so you can recreate this cutie. So let's go ahead and put that down. Got a teeny tiny border here. All right, and then let's bring in a piece of scrap. And I'm going to bring in my seaside spray. And we're just going to do some tone on tone stamping with our balloons. Just randomly. That's good. So we've got that done. Love that seaside spray. I think it complements the Night of Navy beautifully. So let's go ahead and put that down. And then I'm going to show you how we, I love that Tombow for being able to move stuff around just a wee bit if we need to. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead while we're here, bring this scrap back in, and let's stamp our balloons on the inside like they're coming up from the bottom, just like that. That's Memento Tuxedo Black because we're going to be using our Night of Navy Seaside Spray and Basic Gray Markers Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to use the dark first and I'm just going to kind of up here at the top and I alternated them just like such. Bring in my light and using my thick tip. And this card is really quick and so stinking cute. And just making little circular motions to blend the, the dark with the light. 
you've got to get that alcohol to where it's kind of saturated then you'll get that blending that you're looking for okay we're going to do the same thing with our seaside spray going with my dark over on the edge and then i'll come in with my light to finish that off Tiny circles. If you like playing with your blends and you like the colors, this is a great set for that. All right, we can move that safely. Now let's go ahead real quick and let, we'll just stick this down with some adhesive. We could still obviously use our Tombow. There we go. So we've got that part done. Now what we want to do is we want to bring in a piece of Whisper White. Well, you're probably thinking, okay, that's not matching with that stitched rectangle die. Well, we're going to stamp first, then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Let's bring in our truck. I'm going to stamp it down here towards the bottom. Just giving it just a second. Get a good impression. Liking it. Going to get our balloons. And I want them like they're being carried back here in the back. Great. And then I'm always here to pick you up. Got to love 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 that sentiment got to if you're a farm person like i am all right so we've got that done now we're going to color it up using our same colors all right so like i said i'm going to be using the dark night of navy for the truck and the light to do my shading and then I will come back on the ground and the hubcaps and the handle and I will do smoky slate along with the uh, light smoky slate along with the light and the balloons the same way. So I'll speed this up a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, I neglected to tell you I was using the light basic black, and I like to use the light so you can still, still see where the artist has drawn lines. Anywhere that I need to still be able to see lines, I want to use the light basic black so it doesn't wash them all the way out. Also, I need for you to understand that this is thick whisper white. I always use the thick whisper white, and you know what? We need to put our... road he's on a gravel road I'm just using the side and there we go so this one will be a little closer to the bottom than the other one so I'm going to take my second from the largest stitched rectangle die and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out just like that and that's going to make my size that I have on the front a little different, but that's okay because they're all going to be unique. So let me cut that out real quick. I want to make it the exact size that I want it to be. So I'm going to bring my frame back in and I have a tip on this where you just take it, put it in 
and slide it until those grooves grab. So they're going to grab, and then you're going to know it's straight. And when they grab like that, I just slap some tape on there. That's some of the Scotch removable tape. I'm going to run that back through, and there you go. Because I did not know exactly what my dimensions see, this is a totally different dimension. So you can play it by ear. I knew how wide it was going to be, but I didn't know how tall it was going to be. So let's see, this ended up being, so I'm going to make this about three and an eighth. So let me cut that at three and an eighth. And we're going to call that good. Let's see how we did. Pretty good. Now you can see I used some of our gems over here because this was a girl card. And I'm thinking we don't need that for a guy card. Guys aren't into the super bling. I may have got that just a smidge too close right there on the bottom. So if you do that, move your truck up just a little bit more than I did. Learn from me. Oh yeah, that's still super cute. Now, because, let's do it this way. Because I'm going to put this where it's just a flap, I'm going to put it on the top. But I don't want to worry about, am I going to go too far? So that's why I came down here to the bottom of this flap where I know the bottom will be and put my adhesive there. Just kind of lining that up. Just like such. And there you go. I'm always here to pick you up with our balloons. And you could have plenty of room for cinnamon. Girl card, guy card. Girls like blue trucks. Guys may like pink trucks, you never know. So we used the Ride With Me bundle. Whoops, I dropped a part of it off. Today, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.